Hey everyone, uh, so this is going to be a video about unpairing the Apple Watch and uh, pairing a new Apple Watch. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because when I originally ordered my 42mm space gray um, watch with the black band, it uh, said that it was going to take until June to get here, so me being the impatient person that I am, I uh, looked around on the site to see what would be available to ship sooner, and what I found was that I could get a 38 millimeter watch face that was um, the uh, aluminum and uh, get it with a black band. Um, the black band I actually just got a few days ago. I actually had to order this one with a green band um, to get it on launch day. So I've had this watch now since launch day with the green band, got the black band a few days ago, and then a few days later, just today, I received my 42 millimeter space gray Apple Watch. Uh, I've already opened it, checked it out, everything looks fine. I haven't done any pairing with it on the phone. Um, so I, we're going to get to that now. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've got my iPhone here. Alright, so we're going to go into Apple Watch. Okay. And uh, here's what I've got for options. And um, we're going to go to Apple Watch here and unpair Apple Watch. Okay, so the choices are, <laughs> can't read them, okay, so your choices are unpair Chris's Apple Watch or cancel, so I'm going to tap on unpair, so unpairing watch, your iPhone is currently unpairing Apple Watch, this might take a while, okay, so let's see, we'll wait, see how long it takes. Um, sorry about the quality of this, guys. I am doing this on my iPad. I don't have a webcam other than the uh, the iSight on my MacBook. So this was the the one that I could you know use that would uh, give me the best you know angle for viewing uh, this stuff with the phone and the watch and everything. Um, I couldn't do it on my phone, of course, because I'm showing you guys how to do this stuff. So okay, so now we're back at where we were pre watch, you know, before we actually paired the watch that I have now. So I guess now would be a good time to uh, unpack the 42 millimeter, which actually, by the way, is really nice. Um, I, w I wore the 38 millimeter for a while, and I thought that once I got my 42 millimeter, I thought that I would end up selling that one on eBay because I actually liked the way the 38 millimeter fit on my wrist. But um, once I took the 42 millimeter out and put that one on my wrist, I was uh, surprised that it actually felt a lot better. Um, it didn't feel as bulky or bigger than I thought, like it, like I thought it would. Um, so here is the 42 millimeter space gray next to the 38 millimeter. If you guys want to, let me see if I can get a better. Still kind of bad, so let's have a look here. Okay, so here you can tell the the size difference. It's not a lot by looking at it from from here, but when you have it on your wrist, it really does make a difference. So I'll go ahead and take this plastic off, and let's start this watch up. Maybe. There we go. Okay. I guess this watch here is still going through an unpairing process or a restore process or, or what. I'm not sure. Phone is still sitting by idly waiting for us to pair it with a watch, which we'll hopefully get to any minute now. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to end up losing here because uh, I have used this uh, watch for tracking my activity and I know that the activity that the watch stores or records gets synced with the iPhone so I probably should have checked to see if it synced the last activity I just completed um, just to make sure I had all my data 
But there we go. I'm patient again now. It's it's going through another cycle of doing something. I'm not sure at this point. Like I said, it could still be unpairing itself or doing a restore. I did uh, just do the latest update that uh, Apple came out with on this watch, so maybe it's doing something with that. Uh, okay, so here we are at the menu. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're speaking English. And uh, okay, so now it's start pairing. All right, here we go. All right, so we're gonna start pairing with the iPhone, and there we go. Set up as new Apple Watch or restore from backup. Okay, so let's try that. Let's restore from backup. And Chris's Apple Watch. There we go. Look at that. This is why I love Apple. It's, it's just so simple. <laughs> All right, so agree. Sorry about the light glare. Um, yep, here we're going to just tap on agree again. And we're going to have to enter our password. Okay. Now it's asking, actually it's telling us that it's going to enable location services. And also Siri and diagnostics. And we're going to create a passcode. And a four digit passcode. All right. Okay, so there's one benefit to having a bigger watch. It's way easier to type on. Um, typing the numbers on the smaller watch actually got kind of uh, I got kind of tired of doing that because <laughs> it was just I mean, I have big fingers. Um, that's you know an understatement, but trying to hit those tiny buttons with my fingers was almost uh, damn near impossible so uh, this bigger watch does make it a lot easier um, I'm gonna unlock the Apple watch with your iPhone do you wanna unlock the Apple watch with your iPhone huh cool let's do that yeah alright Apple watch is syncing I'm gonna go through the syncing process um, I'm sure that at this point it's syncing all the apps that are on my phone with the watch just like it did uh, the first time I paired it, uh, the first time I paired the 38 millimeter, and uh, maybe at the same time restoring my backup. We'll see. This one, okay, yeah, this one is back at the, uh, it did a restore, so it's ready. I can sell it. Uh, who wants to buy it? <laughs> um, so yeah, here's that. Still sinking. And my phone is telling me that, and you guys can't read it, but it's just letting me know that the uh, Apple ID phone number is now being used for iMessage on a new Apple Watch. And we're okay with that. Um, said so it's gonna send me an alert when it's done syncing. Oh, I really love the space gray. It's about a quarter of the way done. So how many of you guys have an Apple Watch? Um, how do you like it? What do you like about it? I actually, for me, I use it mostly for, of course, telling time. Um, that I actually just got reaccustomed to because for years I haven't worn a watch and I was so used to just pulling my phone out of my pocket to check for the time. So it, it, I actually had to retrain myself to uh, look at my wrist instead, which is a lot more convenient actually. Um, so the other thing I use this watch for all the time is to track my activity, uh, my my workouts and stuff. I uh, you know, it, it's awesome for counting uh, calories. If you're 
trying to um, follow a strict diet where you're burning a certain amount of calories per day, it's, it's really, really awesome for that because it keeps track of all that for you. The only thing you need to keep track of is how many calories you consume. And the watch basically tells you how many calories you've burned. Um, every time you take a walk somewhere, go up and down the stairs. Every time you've sat down for too long, the watch comes up and tells you to stand up. Um, if you've met some of your goals that you've set for yourself, you get achievements. It's kind of like playing a PS3 game or an Xbox game and you know, you're unlocking achievements as you're playing the game. So maybe this will be the game of life. You're, you know, in it for the losing weight and, and staying in shape, being healthy. And, um, you know, the, this watch helps with that a lot, actually. Um, if, if you're into setting goals and into achieving your goals, then this thing is as awesome. It, it just, it does all that stuff for you. Um, okay, so we're in. Let's see where we're at. Okay, 88% power. All right, track my fitness. There. And it wants our passcode. This must have the new update um, because one thing I've noticed with the new update is that all the button presses are so much more responsive than what they were. Um, and best way to describe that is if you've got a watch and and you, you um you know pushing the button is when you when you push the button it almost feels like there's a lag uh maybe a slight millisecond delay uh, or delay of a lag that when you push the button and and it just doesn't you know process right away so this one is actually a lot more responsive if you push the button and it, like just right away it, it you know responds to that button press so uh, some of the games that are on here, like uh, one that, uh, let's see here. Okay, so it's obviously still syncing maybe. Yeah. Some of the apps I have look like they're still syncing. And that's what these little, oh. Okay, too much light. Ah, there we go. There are some of them. And because I'm not having this watch on my wrist, it uh, keeps asking me for the password. All right, so the weather. Okay, apps are still syncing. Okay. So yeah, it looks like it's syncing all the apps that I have had on my phone and have since installed on the watch since I've had it. It uh, restored all my fitness activities. Yep. It's all there. So yeah, piece of cake. Switching one watch to another watch. Unpair. So it's, it's it's simple. You unpair it, wait for the unpairing process to complete, open up the new watch, pair it, do restore from backup, and you're good to go. Uh, what the whole process took 15 minutes. Um, most of that was waiting. <laughs>